This is the exact same case I used to have. Um, and this cooler is the exact same cooler I used to have. This is actually really, really creepy. <laughs> Hello, everybody. Grace Blitz. We're checking out a game for the channel called PC Building Simulator. I'm going to have links in the description below if you want to check it out. The developer got with me and sent me a key so I could check this out a little bit early. So this is coming out on early access. It's time for true PCception because I'm going to be building a PC in my PC. And if you're watching it, then you're going to be watching on your PC while I play a game about PCs on my PC. Someone, I don't know, someone would be proud about that. But in this game, we take the role of a person who will establish a flourishing PC repair and building business. And through that, we must, of course, make a ton of money and lead a luxurious life. Our uncle, it appears, has left us his business, as is fairly traditional in every simulator style of game where we take over something. Uh, someone else tries to make it work, they suck at it, and eventually we have to be there and, you know, create a, a land of happiness and harmony to the new game. This is also the first style of simulator where I have, like, a legitimate, knowledgeable background about what I'm doing. I played it a little bit just to kind of learn what the uh, different buttons and stuff were. Very, very traditional style stuff. Very, very car mechanic simulator-y in its style. So over here, we have our very first PC to pick up. You will get a ton of new jobs. You can expand your room here. Right now we have, you know, like a little shelving area. And then there's an extra workbench another workbench and then I think there is a yeah, right over here a PC storage cupboard all this stuff to expand our already decent sized working area we have a legitimate PC over here that we can get into yes you could double click to read your email tell you a little bit about what's going on this right over here is Uncle Tim he mentions uh, you know how the company's kind of seen some dire times right now and I think he took like 50 <laughs> I had to borrow 15 bucks for fuel you know how it is oh yes Uncle Tim I know how it is Let's go ahead and discard this, and this is going to be our very first job. It says, hi, Tim. Hope you can help me. My computer has been running slower than usual, and I think I might have clicked on something I shouldn't have. Do I have a virus? And now it is our time to check out the PC and see if indeed there is a virus. Of course there is. You pick up the PC, which is funny because you move, like, you know, a lot slower when you're moving the PC. That's, that's fairly realistic. Now, there's a lot of, if you guys know a little bit about PCs and you're big fans of them, there are a lot of officially licensed parts in this game. So you're going to get to see like real cases with real graphics cards and all that kind of stuff, which I think is pretty neat. So the very first thing is we have to load up the PC and remove the viruses. This part, this is actually pretty easy. So all we have to do is just kind of sit over here to work on it. You can do a 360 if you want. You can take all these parts out, by the way. I've done it, um, which is pretty slick. But what we're going to do right now is put in all of our different cables. So obviously we have to put in our mouse, our keyboard, we got to put in our monitor right over there, HDMI, and then the power supply unit. And now in the various items that we have laying around, uh, if we go out of this, and then, well actually, hold on, yeah, install. We go over here, you're going to see, we don't have a lot of anything right now. We buy this from the online shop, but what we do have is some thermal paste, a USB drive, and some compressed air. Oh, I go through a lot of this. We're going to use the USB drive, though, because this is going to allow us to load in our antivirus program. So let's go ahead and put in the USB drive. Now, if you want to, you can press the P button to power on, but these buttons are actually functional. So you can click over here, and that will legitimately power on the PC. You can hear it sounds like a jet engine's taking off. This guy needs a quieter, uh, a quieter heating solution over here, or cooling solution, I should say. This is the Omega OS. Obviously, Microsoft probably isn't going to give everyone, anyone an official license to use their product in the game. Go over here to add and remove programs. Go over here to our virus scanner. We've got to load it onto the PC. We have to, we have to restart the PC. This game is, uh, it's pretty realistic. I kind of like it. So now we have to restart. Luckily, though, booting in the game is much, much faster than in real life. So over here. We can go over to our virus scanner, scan for viruses, and, uh, you know, in a, in a very, very optimal world, the virus scanner is done in three seconds, and it's found 458 files. So let's go ahead and clean them all, and we are done. So once you're done, one thing I learned about this is I thought that you would have to power this off, take all the cords out, and then bring it out to the door. You actually just pick it up. 
Um, and I, I don't know, maybe we're just really rough with this thing, and all the cords just rip out and go flying. It seems like something someone would do in real life. I think I've, I think I've ripped cords out of my computer. I can't even tell you how many times. I know I've ripped my headphone cord out a bajillion times. Make sure to let me know in the comments if you've done it as well. All right, so we're done over here. Go back over to our, uh, which is weird because we don't have a seat or anything. This is not a standing desk. At least it doesn't look like it. Go back over here. Collect our paycheck of $100. And now we can go ahead and disable this. For a second there, I thought that I may have deleted some potential work. But I think it just came back in. I think that if you delete it, it comes back to you. So let's go ahead and get rid of this one. Now we have a couple choices here. We can do more space, a broken graphics card, or more viruses. I think I'm going to do the graphics card because the payment on this is like big. Now, we don't have enough money to do this, but luckily for whatever reason, we can go into debt. And uh, as long as we can pay quick enough, uh, it won't matter. So let's go ahead and accept this. I mean, you can accept them all. Do that. Actually, we might as well accept them all. Do that. And we'll do that as well. Okay. So we're going to need... A new hard drive, and we're going to need a graphics card. Totally fine. Now, you have to wait for all the items to get to us. You can see they're all in transit right now. So what we do is we'll walk over here past our beautiful, very, very meditative style of artwork. Click on this door, and then we can advance our day when all the stuff is showing up. Now, you need money to pay these utility bills, and then you need at least $500 to pay this rent. So you gotta make sure you keep some money on you before these days happen. Let's go ahead and end this day over here. And now, we should have, there we go. We got PCs laying all over the friggin' place. So let's, what do we got over here? We got fix, uh, that's the broken graphics card, that's more space, and this is the viruses. All right, so we can go over to the shop over here, double click on it, and now, we're looking for a 970, I think it was, uh, of the graphics card. There it is. Okay, and there's two different types. We're gonna just get this regular one, I think. I don't really know if it matters what we install for the guy. But I'm gonna go ahead and add this one over here. Now, the cart actually has delivery times as well. <laughs> so if you're okay with waiting three to five business days, you can save some money. I'm, I'm just gonna get the next day delivery so we can kind of get this done. So we're gonna go ahead and do that over there. Now that that's in transit, uh, let's make sure, what was it? We needed a, I think it was a hard drive? 500 gigabyte easy store hard drive. Okay, so let's go ahead and grab a hard drive real quick over here by the shop. All right, here we go. Only 50 bucks for a delicious 500, 500 gigabytes isn't nothing, man. You gotta have more than that. I don't know what we're doing with 500 gigabytes. Again, $30 for this. Um, I think I'm just gonna do three to five working days on this one. Save us a little bit of cash. And now for the last one, we have the uh, virus scanner. So this one is going to be coming in tomorrow. Uh, this one's going to be coming in tomorrow. This one's going to come in three to five days. But let's go ahead and finish this one up. Pick her up. Load it nice and easy over here on the work table. Plop it on down. You can see dusty as hell. This pretty much looks like probably 90% of the gamer computers that I've seen who completely neglect to ever open up the side panel and clean out the innards. Uh, let's go over here. Go over into our install area, click on the compressed air. Now, luckily, it's pretty easy. All you have to do, you can move your camera around as you will. As soon as you blow enough, the entirety of the dust kind of disappears. You know what I mean? Which is kind of nice. It doesn't force you to sit there and blow, like, every inch of the panel off so you don't have to go completely insane. Now... You will see that we can't get all of the dust off. See how there's still dust over there? I think we can get maybe this dust around back. Oh, yeah, we can. There we go. Now, you can't get all the dust off. So what you have to do, just like in, in real life, is we got to go over here, and we've got to remove the side panel. So this is the part where it starts getting a little uh, a little car mechanic simulator -y. You got to take out your, uh, your screws right over here. And now... That's not what I wanted. And now, with the compressed air, now you can legitimately blow out the graphics card like so. Blow out your back portion over here. Your fan area. The motherboard. And once everything is completely blown out, the uh, our job will update. And it will show us that... There we go. Right there. That now we've cleaned out all the dust. So now we can replace this. So let's go ahead and install... PC part, side panel, slap it on, make sure to tighten all of our thumb screws down as you do. And then, of course, we're going to have to put all the cords in, put our USB drive in, and then clean this thing of viruses. All right, everything's connected. Hit the power button over here. Let's step... Wow, man, everyone has a loud-ass PC. I mean, my PC is loud, too. I'm not going to say it's not, but still. 
add remove programs over to the virus scanner. It loads up in a jiffy, which I love. Hopefully this is the future of PC virus scanning right here. That's what I'm hoping for. Watch this. Ready? We're going to rest restart the Omega OS. What is that? A two second boot right there? That's a two second boot if ever I saw one. Scans the drive in three seconds. Only 396 uh, of your different pornographic freaking Trojans sitting on this one. So now that we're all done, we go over here, see that it's complete. Rip it right out of the cords like it's no big deal. Sit it by the door like so. And now we can go ahead and collect a little bit of our cash over by the email. Close this down, over by the email, and then collect our 100 bucks. Now we're still down, but it's okay. We're going to have more money rolling in, especially when we get that graphics card in. I think we're getting paid like 300 and some odd dollars for that. Not very good with computers, but mine isn't running properly. It has been getting very hot lately and is running slower and slower. I don't think I can hear the fan anymore. It lives on the floor of my dusty office. I hope it's not all clogged up. If you, have a, if you do have to replace the fan, please pick the cheapest one. I can't afford anything fancy. That right there is realism at its finest. Let's friggin' do it. We'll take this over here. It's gonna take a day to get here. It mentions over here that the account is overdrawn, but our overdraft limit is $1,000, so it's no big deal. We can go ahead and delete this, uh, and then we can discard this as well because we've already completed it. Okay, so now we're just waiting on, on our graphics card, our uh, gigabyte hard drive, or 500 gigabyte hard drive, and then the final computer to roll on in. I'm not gonna lie, I wish I had a calendar that just spontaneously updated as I live my life. Because that's what's going on here. So we've got our 970. Should be oh, right over here. There we go. Yep, we're going to want that graphics card. Very good. Pick up the PC. This actually looks very similar to a case like uh, two PCs ago from me. Put her on down. Let's see here. PC boot OS. Yeah, okay, so let's replace the graphics card first. So very first thing we're going to have to do, twist it around over here. Remove the side panel as we often. Actually, I think that this. Wow, yeah, this is the, this is the exact same case I used to have, um, and this cooler is the exact same cooler I used to have. This is actually really, really creepy. We're gonna have to remove the graphics card over here. All right, screw comes out. Uh, now we're gonna have to replace. So in order to replace, install. We know that we have a graphics card laying around. So this is the broken one. Let's go ahead and grab this one. Slide it on in, nice and smooth as you do. And then we'll go ahead and put our uh, our side paneling on. And then we'll load it on up and make sure that it boots. All right. Time to let that money roll in. Come on now. Oh, yeah. Right there. Right there, baby. That's what I'm talking about. Okay. So now we can do this. Pick it up. Leave it on over. And we're going to be set to go. And that's going to be big money right there. Uh, in fact, let's go ahead and grab our money right now so we're not just sitting in the negatives the whole time. Back over here. Broken graphics card. Collect our $395. That's what I'm talking about. We got another... Oh, help quickly. Okay, hold on there, buddy. I need your help. I borrowed my mom's brand new PC, and I think I clicked on something I shouldn't have. Now it's riddled with viruses. I need it done before she gets back from her friend's house in two days. And that right there is why you don't go onto those sites. All right, so the one thing that we're going to need is we do need a cooling unit. Our one buddy needs a cooling unit. So we're going to want the cheapest. Not by relevance. We want by price ascending. It's right over here. Ten bucks. Actually, there's a whole slew of them that are ten dollars. Um, oh, you know what? Was it a case fan that he needed or was it the CPU fan? Hold on, let me see over here. I just want to make sure what type of fan he wants. Replace the fan. Air cooler. I think it's the CPU fan. I'm going to double check real fast. Yep. It was the CPU fan. Okay, good. Just making sure. Just double checking. I want to make sure that we're picking the right part. I mean, it's only 10 bucks, but still. So back over here to the cart. Um, yeah, I'm not, we're not doing next day delivery for 30 bucks. We'll do this one over here. That should get us there just in time. $10 from 30. Hey, I'll take it. All right. So right now we're just waiting on stuff in transit. So let's go ahead and wander over by our door here. Hit the end of the day. And now let's see, we got some things coming in. I think this is the one that we had to get done. Uh, before the time limit. So let's check. Yeah, right over here. Scan it. PC boots, root viruses. All right, let's go ahead and pick this one up. We can get this one done real fast and get paid. All right, PC's ready to boot. Power it on. Hop over here to the main screen. Oh, look at this lovely background this guy has on his PC. Looking freaking fantastic. Over to the virus scanner. Add it on real quick. 
This guy does no one ever has anything on their PC. I would like to see like some Minecraft or something here. Just anything. Go ahead and restart. As we all know, everyone's PC is using the top of the line hardware for their for all your booting purposes. Scan everything real quick. How many bad files we got here? Eh, 386. Not really that bad. Go ahead and clean it. Done. And make sure that everything is all green. It is. Rip it out. Drop it on down. It sounds like it's like storming outside or something. I don't know what it is. I don't know if it's just the subway where we live or if things are looking pretty rough outside. Let's go over here. 100 bucks. Not the exact same price that the last guy gave us. Oh, look, we leveled up. Congratulations. We've unlocked new fans, new processors, the auto connect tool. Okay. Uh, and then we have more stuff in the shop. A lot of Intel things. That's pretty cool. All right, we got a brand new job over here. I upgraded my PC. But now it's not working properly. The computer boots okay, but when I try and benchmark it or run a game, it crashes. I haven't replaced my power supply unit. You know, Darmian, the PSU is something you cannot skimp on. I know everyone's going to agree with me right here. If you know a little bit about PCs, you never skimp on the power supply unit. Now let's see, over here, replace the air cooler, clean out the dust. Oh, we're still waiting on items. And we're still waiting on our 500 gigabyte hard drive. So let's go over here, end the day, and we should be getting something brand new. We should have our other uh, PC that has come in. Yep, right over here. So now we need, oh, you know what? We should have ordered this right away, the Power King 600. So let's go over here and go and buy one. Oh, we had some stuff from the UPS guy or the laser ship guy. I don't know. Have you ever seen the people that deliver like next day Amazon Prime stuff? It's usually like some dude in like the Toyota Celica or something. Uh, let's go over here. We've got our air cooler and we have our hard drive. Okay, so we can get two things done today. So let's, uh, we'll do this one real quick. All right, replace the air cooler, clean out the dust, and remember everyone, put thermal paste between uh, your cooler and your CPU. Just a little grain of rice will do you. Let's go ahead and pull off the side panel here. We gotta blow this nice and long. Make sure that everything's very, very clean. I can't remember if I, uh, if there was any dust on the front. I feel like there was not. Oh, maybe there was because, oh, there's some over here I can see. Let's go ahead and make sure that we get all that. There we go. We cleaned out all the dust. All right, no big deal. So now we can install. Uh, we're going to want cooling solutions right over here. Oh, oh, I almost did it. Oh my God, I almost did it. I almost forgot completely. Install thermal paste. What am I talking about? All right, thermal paste. Yeah, see, look at this. Hold on, let me see if I can get right up in here. Right up in, yes, right here. You can see, there's your appropriate, yeah, right about the appropriate size, I would say. Cooling, thermal, drop it on down. Make sure to connect your, your cable now. Couple cables over here that we gotta connect to make sure that the uh, air cooler is set up appropriately. From here, we can go over to the rest of our cables and put everything in. Oh, you know what? We're going to want to put the side panel on as well. We'll do that in just a second. You can get this stuff done first. No big deal. Put our HDMI and then right over here, the power, the power cable. And now we can go to install PC part side panel, slap it on down, make sure to tighten up the thumb screws, go over by the power area, power it up. And we are set to go. You got your no man's sky background over there. Whatever the hell it is. Pick this up, leave it over by the door. And someone is going to be a happy man. Let's go ahead and pick up our paycheck real quick because I do want to do that. Uh, let's see. Where is it at? Right over here. 140 bucks for that. 140 bucks. That's not too shabby. PC not turning on. We'll, we'll deal with you in just a second. Real quick, let's go ahead and put the other hard drive in right fast. Side panel comes off. We're going to have to remove uh, our tray to get our, uh, our hard drive out over here. Oh wait, did he just want an extra one? Oh, that's right, he didn't, his isn't broken. He just wants an upgrade. That's what it is. So I just noticed something. <laughs> the bays teleport through the back side panel. That shouldn't happen. You should have to take this off in order to get at your bays, but that's, that's fine. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna hate on it quite yet. I did have to remove the, uh, the back panel in order to push the hard drive in. So that's pretty good. Now let's just check. I don't know. There's probably a kit. Yeah, okay. I, I figured it would make us put the cable in. I would think. All right, all the panels are in. Start it up. And as long as we can get to the operating system, we are good to go. And that is another one 
all nice and done. More money in the bank. We may even get level three before uh, before too long over here. And I think at level three, can't we open up another workbench? Yes, having another workbench would be great because then we can start stacking stuff onto the workbenches and getting things done. $190 for that one, boys. All right, PC not turning on. I hope you can help. My computer stopped working the other day, and now it won't turn on at all. Please, can you have a look for me? I think it might be the motherboard. It needs a new Skylake socket. All right, so 250 bucks. Go ahead and accept that one. And then uh, she needs a lot of RAM. I'm giving my daughter my PC, and she needs a lot of RAM, apparently. She said she needs 16 gigabytes, and I've got two. Oh, God. All right, we'll, we'll fix this as well. Let's go ahead and accept this. All right. I just had all my RAM show up, so let's go ahead and get her done over here. Take our panel off. Where's this craptastic RAM right over here? The Mortani Value Supreme, huh? Okay, let's go ahead and open up this. Take this out, and let's go give you some real-life RAM over here. Now, I, I went I went decent. We're doing two 8-gigabyte uh, DDR4s over here. I only went with the 2133. I don't really know if she's going to see a difference anyway. Let's go ahead and slide this one in there. Actually, something I like is how you have to uh, open the memory clips before you can put the memory in. I just saw that. I like that. That's pretty neat. Back over here to the PC parts. Put the side panel on. It just slides right in. Hook up all of our cables and the like, and then we should be good to go. We should be making our money. All right, computer's powering on, and everything looks good. The RAM is happy. I'm happy. The daughter's going to be happy. Everyone's gonna be freaking happy. Let's go ahead and throw it over here by the door. Here we go. Pick up our money as we often do. Plus, we'll get new jobs that way. Oh, we gotta pay our uh, utility bills. Pay our 96 bucks right over there. Everything's online these days, boys. Collect our $280 for that one. That ain't too shabby. Missing thermal paste. We can probably take care of that. I don't think that we have any of the uh, other items yet. Uh, let's go over here to our scheduling area. Uh, there's a Titan delivery of that. All right, our power supply is coming in tomorrow. Let's go ahead and end the day over here. Back to work. There's our power supply so we can finally get that one done. And let's go ahead and pick her on up over here. Put her on the workshop bench. I'd like to get level three soon, though. Definitely to open that up. And let's go ahead and fix this up real quick. This should happen pretty fast. Um, all we're going to have to do, take these on off right over here. Ooh, it's like a modular power supply or something. All right, get rid of that crap. Did that say 250 watts? Oh my god, that's that's pretty bad. You don't usually see them quite so horrible as that. All right, let's pull it out over here. Power supplies, the brand new 600, baby. You're gonna love it. You're gonna love the 600. It's gonna have all the energy you're gonna need. All right, we're set. We got our USB drive in. We're gonna have to use the uh, 3D Mark. Actually, I don't even know if we needed our. Uh, our own drive because I think he said he had 3d mark it just wouldn't work so let's go ahead and do our thing over here here's a there's your 3d mark freaking scenery I can't believe it actually does this for you I almost feel like this is too realistic it's been going on for almost 30 seconds I'm watching like 3d mark inside of a video game oh my god it has the different frames and stuff I couldn't believe it I actually had to let it run all the way through Please tell me that was all it took. Oh, thank you, God. It took like two and a half minutes. I couldn't believe it. Give me my freaking money. I want to get paid for that crap. All right, we're all done right now. We've got everything that we can do. I'm going to double check over here. I'm pretty sure, yeah, in transit, in transit. Okay, so we're waiting on two PCs to get in. We're waiting for some items to arrive. So go ahead and end our day. Go back to work. There we go. Now we have everything laying around. All right. So we need thermal paste, so that we can get done really fast. We're waiting on the motherboard, and we're gonna need four more gigs of RAM. All right, so let's go ahead and we gotta pull these out, pull this off, install thermal paste, put a dab on, install cool or er, cooling. There we go. Throw that on. Make sure to put your cables in like so. There we go. Another one over here. Now we can put the side on. Then we can run 3D Mark. Now, it also looks like we can sell some of the broken stuff. Do we get anything? You have none of this item in your inventory. What about this one? You get seven bucks for that? Oh, we did. We got seven dollars for that crappy power supply unit. Okay. Now, whatever. Let's go ahead and power this thing. Oh, we need to put our cables in. Add or remove programs. 3D Mark. Right over here. Now, I have to sit through like three and a half minutes as it does the 3D Mark. I mean, to be fair, you know, we're doing this for like 
We're doing this for like four minutes and we're making a couple hundred bucks. So I can't hate on that. Over here, run the 3D mark. I'll see you guys in a little bit. All right, we're all done. The cast of scrubs can have their freaking computer back or whoever this belongs to. Let's go ahead and throw it on over here. Pick up our cash real quick over by the email area. Zero dollars. Oh, from Tim. We had to do this one for free. What kind of Mickey Mouse business are you running? I feel a kind of annoyed because we're not technically Tim, but the honor of the business must prevail. Yay, we just did that for friggin' free. Oh, it's Dr. Waterman. Remember the Mickey Mouse business guy? He says, since you added the thermal paste, everything's going good. Uh, it's under new ownership. I'm impressed with your timely fixing of the issue. And he's gonna recommend us to anyone that needs work doings. Just wanna let you boys know, fuel is law. Anyway, that's gonna be it for this episode of PC Building Simulator. What do you think? Is it fairly close to the real thing? I mean, you gotta have, you gotta have some stuff that's just for fun, right? We can't, I, I do leave my computer on all the time, so that's just like in real life. Actually, hold on a second. Is there any other programs over here? Oh, there's like music players and stuff like that. Does this like legitimately change the music? It does! It changes the music. I had no idea. Hey guys, feel free to let me know what you thought about in the comment section below. Until the next time, stay foxy and much love. <laughs>